Hello, it's me, Sam here for Whoop Gaming, and today um, a lot of you have been requesting tutorials on how to mod Minecraft, uh, especially to do uh, bucket plugins. And so today we're going to start a new series, uh, which will be a short series on how to develop a plugin for bucket. So in this series, we're going to go through how to uh, initially set up or clip your workspace, and then right through to packaging it up and as an actual plugin. Um, for those of you that don't know Java, it's fine. Um, I'm going to assume you don't know fairly basic Java uh, or none at all. I'll try and explain concepts and things as we go along. Um, obviously, having previous knowledge of Java will definitely help, uh, but I guess it's not necessarily. Anyway, so we're going to start off with how to set up our working environment. Um, so, first of all, you're going to require uh, the Java runtime environment or virtual machine. Uh, you should already have that installed on your computer because if you've played Minecraft you need this um, but obviously just check if you're not using the same computer um, as you're running Minecraft what you also need is a Java development kit uh, link will be in the description and, and here you can download it for your required platform so just hit the download there and obviously there's a load there for depending on your operating system um, but just choose the selected one, install it, it's all fairly standard stuff and that will just allow you to develop things in Java because um, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so once you've done that, load it that and install that, that should be fine. Uh, the next thing you want to know, want to know is uh, have is the uh, Eclipse IDE. Now Eclipse is what we're going to be using to uh, develop and write our Java code so it would be very useful to have and it, in my opinion uh, it's my favorite, it's what I use, but there are other IDEs, but the purpose of this tutorial we're going to be using Eclipse, uh, as it's probably most uh, used one. So uh, Eclipse.org is the uh, URL. I'm going to hit Downloads. Now you might be uh, confused, I guess, with all these separate packages and stuff. Um, basically, you're going to be okay with Eclipse Standard 4.3.0 or whatever version, and then obviously choose your 32-bit or 64-bit. What these other things are is add a, uh, extra add-ons and plugins, I guess, for Eclipse IDE, which are come pre-installed. So for this one, uh, Eclipse IDE for Java Enterprise Edition developments, that will have certain uh, tools and stuff aimed specifically for Java Enterprise uh, Edition and web applications, that sort of thing. Um, but for now, we're just going to stick with standard Eclipse for uh, 4.3 of your own. I've already downloaded that because that does take quite a while to uh, download, so go ahead and download that now. And we're going to go and install that. So it's very simple to install. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder and call it Clips just so we have everything nice. And then open up, oops, wrong one. Open up the zip folder. And oh, it gives you another directory. And then just want to drag and drop that into your Eclipse. Uh, directory we've created or you could just drag and drop it that's fine that should take a few seconds um, but whilst that's uh, copying over we're also going to need bucket uh, sort of graph bucket as fact so in order to develop uh, our plugin we're going to need some libraries from the graph bucket server and that way we can interact with the code used uh, to develop bucket, all the API, all the player events, all the the entities and all the blocks and everything we're going to be using is going to be done through the API of bucket. Um, we can download is the bucket.jar API and this will have everything you need uh, to use um, for what we're going to be doing. Um, but you can obviously download that now with the recommended build here uh, and that will give you the bucket.jar and I, I will download that as well actually just to show you um, but we don't actually require that as such I mean it's a lot smaller so it's a lot quicker to download but you can just use the craftbucket.jar as well because that has the bucket API installed with it because Eclipse is an IDE uh, it's integrated so you can use both but which is an download both of them, just use the recommended build. Obviously if you're developing for uh, bucket 1.7.2 then you're going to want to 
using beta build or development build um, but we'll just use 1.6.4 just because um, it's recommended at the moment okay so we'll set up our server as well while that's still copying so I'm going to create a new folder call it server okay so we're going to want to drag and drop our craft bucket uh, jar into our, our directory I like to uh, rename this just to CB just because it's easier when I create the uh, the bat folder bat folder the bat file so we're going to create that create that over there add one previous area just so I can copy across I'll just change this to CB so I'm assuming you know how to set up a server already um, shouldn't be too difficult I'm just going to hit start on that just to, just to get that running let's see how this is going across so 15 second lift and while we're there let's just drag and drop our bucket API in there it, it doesn't have to be in this folder you can have it wherever you like uh, but we're just going to check it there just to keep everything in the same place I guess for now okay so that's all start and server up not necessarily uh, but it's good just when we're testing just to have that okay so our eclipse has covered across let's close that and that's all done so let's stop that and let's take a look at eclipse so I'm going to open up our eclipse directory and just run eclipse.exe or whatever extension depending on what operating system you're using and that should load up and the first thing that will come up is something about your workspace uh, well I'm not sure that's come up the first time you run it but we're going to have to create a workspace okay so this is where our projects are so you can have this anywhere on your um, hard drives but I'm going to just stick this on the desktop and I'm just going to call it slash workspace uh, okay and what that will do it will create a, uh, a directory where all your projects and all your plugins will be created in so we can easily see all the source code um, and access that should we want to and that's well where I defined it here as workspace and then it will load up it should load up if it doesn't crash and obviously there's some stuff they can read about the tutorials and overview of Eclipse um, but obviously that should be explained through uh, this. So I'm just going to quickly go over what we see when we first uh, open Eclipse. If you have a, a different layout I guess go to Window, uh, Open Perspective and then uh, choose Java Default and hit OK just in case you delete something so I, I can delete these things for instance here by accident maybe I don't need them but if I want to get them back I just do window open perspective other Java and that will bring the default uh, view back I guess or show view and then I can choose as well what things I want so for instance I deleted the uh, console down at the bottom so I can do window show view console and that will we put it back there okay um, so let's just go over a quick overview of what we get so over here we have the package explorer when we create our projects it will have a list of all the projects we have and all the files in each project uh, so that's fairly standard console when we are going to be running um, our plugins uh, not necessarily if, if we're going to be doing this differently we're going to be testing as a separate server to the Eclipse IDE then we won't actually need the console here um, but that will give you output if you're using a uh, or writing a development Java in anything and you're running it from uh, I don't know like a, uh, a runnable application but for the purpose of this tutorial we won't be doing that an outline again we're not going to be too bothered about that but here is our main sort of area, this is going to be where we're writing our code there are going to be tabs all along the top which we can uh, hop along to open files and 
we're going to be doing that. Um, just for easiness, go for, to Windows, Preference. I believe it's in general, editors, um, where is it? Text editors, and then we go show line numbers. That's just, just very handy to have. I'm not sure why it's turned off at the default, um, but when we are seeing problems on line 59, then we can easily see where it is in the code. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we're actually going to be starting our plugin. Uh, developing it and seeing how it all works. Um, but now you just had a glimpse of how to install it and how to uh, get the workspace ready. So see you in the next tutorial.